All right, light them if you got them. Sometimes, you know what, you got to give things time and things are going to pan out. Things will be wonderful. <clears throat> this pleasantry does not apply to my lawn. Uh, it hasn't panned out to jack squat. I am going to face this big daunting task of planting grass in my backyard. I would usually get a shovel and a pickaxe to begin this battle, but you know what? If your lawn is way big and the soil is more like rock now, unleash the beast from the east. Rent a rototiller. You'll blow 60 bucks, but if you did this all by hand, that would take about a month off of your lifespan, so choose wisely. Rototiller is cool though, man, because it's no joke. And you cannot let it go because it will turn around and kill you. So you're going to want to smooth out the soil. I already went over it with the hard rake and now I'm just doing some finer raking with this rake. And along the way you loosen up a bunch of stuff. You're going to want to pick that up. Sticks, branches, Mr. Pib can from 1984. I don't like exerting this much energy and sweating like a fat sweaty person, but you know what? You don't give up on something that you've committed to, right? If you're going to bail on an idea, you bail before it starts and write loser on your forehead while you're at it. I had to add nutrition soil to the dirt because this thing was pretty desert-like. So much sand and dirt. I didn't think it would take kindly to new little seedlings coming to town. It smells kind of good in a weird way. I want to eat some. So then it comes time to seed the yard, right? Now what you could do is get this thing from Home Depot that rolls and you could roll it around and it shoots seeds every which way. Um, here's a picture of one if you don't know what I'm talking about. If you're going to reseed a football field, you can use that. Otherwise, get out of here with that thing. You don't need it. What I like to use that works about the same is the uh, milk carton with the top chopped off. It also helps distribute seeds by putting your hand in it and going like this. That's no good. You might be thinking, what does it matter really if the lawn is green? Is anyone going to look over the fence and be like, hey Thunderbolt, that lawn is something else. You're hitting it out of the park. No, but you know what else? I don't like your attitude. Okay, finally, you know what you're going to need to do is uh, squish the dirt, compress it a bit. And you could do this by renting this cute little roller thing at Home Depot. You could rent or buy it and it'll do just that. But I also say forget that because you know what else accomplishes the task and saves you some ducats? Walking. You could compress this with your feet. But I ain't got the time to be walking around no backyard squishing dirt with my feet. Yes, you do. You know how long it's going to take you to get to the store and back? The amount of time you would need to squish all this dirt with your feet. So get walking. Then for the next handful of weeks, you're going to want to keep that lawn moist. Keep the water coming regularly, or better yet, have it coming through an automated sprinkler system that you installed in a previous episode. Now I could do a cool montage of the next 30 days and you could be dazzled about how the grass grows. But statistics show that nobody reaches the end of a YouTube video. So, yeah. I'm kind of here in no man's land by myself, squishing down the soil. I'm the real deal.